Hello dears, in this lecture we are going to discuss the Piagian Hall principle and the divisibility relation. Theorem 2.2, the Piagian Hall principle. The statement is, if m Piagians are assigned to m Piagian Halls, where m is greater than n, then at least two Piagians must occupy the same Piagian Hall. Either m greater than n and the gender, m Piagians are assigned to n Piagian Halls. So, n and the uh, Piagian Halls in the n are n, and the other one is the other one. So, at least two Piagians must occupy the same Piagian Hall. One Piagian Hall is the same Piagian Hall. Pigeons and down, pigeon holes and down and down. Parental. Here on a proof of the number of the number by contradiction number of proof. Then it is illustration on a pigeon hole on the end of moon and all and five pigeon holes and but there are six pigeons. So e pigeon hole on the layer pigeons occupy it at least two pigeons in your occupation. Neither in the angle polem, you put a three and occupy it. So, contradiction is the proof of Suppose the given conclusion is false. Conclusion is that at least two pigeons must occupy the same pigeon hole. That is, false. That is, no two pigeons occupy the same pigeon hole. That is, one pigeon hole maximum at most one pigeon occupy the same pigeon hole. One pigeon occupy the same pigeon hole. We assume that one pigeon hole. Then, every pigeon must occupy a distinct pigeon hole. Right? All pigeons are distinct pigeon holes occupy in the same way. So, n greater than or equal to m, which is a contradiction. n greater than or equal to m, because we have m pigeons and n pigeon holes. So, all pigeons are distinct pigeon holes occupy in the same way. n and n are equal to m, which is equal to m, which is equal to m, which is equal to m. So, that is a contradiction because we have m is greater than n. So, our assumption is wrong. So, two or more pigeons must occupy some pigeon holes. So, that is the pigeon hole principle. Now, divisibility relation. Divisibility relation. Suppose we let r equal to 0 in the division algorithm. We have a division algorithm. A equal to bq plus r. A is the integer. B is the positive integer divided by the value. We can write A equal to BQ plus R where Q is the quotient and R is the reminder. We can write a unique title Q is the value of R. So, if the reminder R is 0, A equal to BQ is the value. That is A equal to B into Q. So, in this case, we can return this as B divides A. Okay, B divides A is the value. Alinggil B is a factor of A, nampaknya macam tu. Alinggil A is divisible by B, nampaknya macam tu. Or A is a multiple of B, nampaknya macam tu. Because A equal to B Q. Apo A is a multiple of B, nampaknya. Atau kalau tuhne, A is divisible by B, nampaknya. B is a factor of A, nampaknya. Alinggil B divides A, nampaknya. And we write this as this. B divides A. Apo B divides A angle, we can see we can say that or we can write A equal to some BQ. That is the integer existing. B divides A angle. A and B integers are not all. B divides A angle. We can there exists an integer Q such that A equal to BQ. Then we can say that or third number. A equal to BQ angle. We can say that B divides A number. Now if B is not a factor of A. B add a factor all and then we write B does not divide A. E simple and easy. Okay. For example, 3 divides 12. That is, 3 is a factor of 12. Because we can write 12 is equal to 3 into 4. So, 3 is a factor of 12. Or, we can say that 3 divides 12. Or 12 is divisible by 3. 12 is divisible by 3. Or 12 is a multiple of 3. And 5 divides 30 because 30 can be written as 5 into 6. So, 5 divides 30. But 6 does not divide 15 because we cannot write 15 as some 6 into Q. Because 
This is actually in an area angle Q equal to 2.5 on share, but this is not an integer. So we can write we, we, there is there does not exist an integer Q such that 15 equal to 6 into Q. So uh, 6 does not divide 15. Now the following example illustrates the uh, pigeonhole principle. Let B be a, an integer greater than or equal to 2. B be an integer greater than or equal to 2. Suppose B plus 1 integers are randomly selected. B or integer ana, which is greater than or equal to 2. We are selecting uh, B plus 1 numbers of integers randomly. Prove that the difference of 2 of them is divisible by B. Okay. Above B plus 1 integers are randomly selected. We have to show that uh, the difference of 2 of them is divisible by B in the 2A. Now we can try to prove this. Suppose an integer a is divided by b. So when integer a is dividing by b, let q be the quotient and r be the reminder. Then by uh, division algorithm, we can write a equal to bq plus r where r is lies between 0 and b or 0 less than or equal to r less than b. We are assuming that b plus 1 integers are randomly selected. So b plus 1 integer, integer selecting means uh, we will get b plus 1 reminders. That is, you integer in the number b plus 1 integers correspondingly we will have b plus 1 reminders. Oro integer in the corresponding item, number of reminders. So, b plus 1 integers select in and search by a division algorithm, we will get b plus 1 reminders. Let reminders be pigeons. Okay, but there are only b possible reminders. Uh, we, we have a reminder is less than b and 0 less than or equal to r less than b. Okay, reminder integer on the area, 0 and b day, including 0. So, maximum number of reminders will be b. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to b minus 1 where integers in double. So, maximum number of integers will be uh, b. So, there are only b possible reminders. So, our reminders in the uh, reminders in the pigeon hole side consider here. But we B plus 1 reminders. Okay. So by pigeon holes principle, uh, two of the reminders must be equal. Okay. We have B plus 1 reminders in the There are maximum reminders in the B. Uh, B so at least render reminder equal. Okay. So two of the reminders must be equal. So uh, and the reminders the corresponding item integers x and y and jarika. That is x and the integer. So a number of replies are in the x and y and jarika. Are and uh, integers the corresponding item uh, reminders equal and jarika. Right. So x is equal to that is the corresponding integers b. Let the corresponding integers be x and y. In the varnum, we general principle and reminders in the item equal and varnum. Okay. So I'm going to x and I'm going to get them between x equal to bq1 plus r and y equal to bq2 plus r and y but reminders should be equal right so therefore we can write uh, x minus y is equal to bq1 plus r minus bq2 plus r so r divided go cancel it go so b into q1 minus q2 that is x minus y can be written as some b into q where q equal to q1 minus q2 so x minus y is divisible by b clear so, we use the principle of the principle of the total B plus 1 reminders and uh, integers uh, randomly selected. So, we use the integer selected. We use integer B8 divide. We can say that we have by division algorithm uh, integer A and B8 divide. Division algorithm which is Q and R exist. A equal B Q plus R. That is unique. Okay, so B plus 1 integers, only A and B plus 1 integers where I consider J. I'm going to be corresponding at B plus 1 reminders. Okay, so then B gen side I'm going to consider J. No, but total maximum 3 will do B reminders in the world maximum. So then B gen holds I don't say so B gen holds in the end of B on a but B gen in the end of B plus 1 on a okay. So other one then a or hold a only a big on a B gen in the other one then a. That means, render reminders in the equal. At least, render reminders in the equal. 
ആ രണ്ട് റിമൈൻഡേഴ്സും കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഇൻഡിജുവൽ നിങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ എക്സും വൈ ആക്കി എടുത്തു സോ എക്സ് നമുക്ക് ബി ക്യു വൺ പ്ലസ് ആറ് എഴുതാം വൈ ഇനും ബി ക്യു ടു പ്ലസ് ആറ് എഴുതാം റിമൈൻഡേഴ്സ് സെയിം ആയിരിക്കും ബട്ട് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സോ എക്സ് മൈനസ് വൈ എന്നുള്ളത് നമുക്ക് ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എക്സ് മൈനസ് വൈ ക്യാൻ ബിറ്റ് നാസ് ബി ഇൻ ടു ക്യു വൺ മൈനസ് ക്യൂ ടു ദാറ്റ് എക്സ് മൈനസ് വൈ ക്യാൻ ബിറ്റ് നാസ് ബി ഇൻ ടു ക്യൂ വർ ക്യൂ ഈക്വൽ ടു ക്യൂ വൺ മൈനസ് ക്യൂ ടു സോ ദിസ് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് എക്സ് മൈനസ് വൈ ഇസ് ഡിവിസിബിൾ ബൈ ബി ഓർ ബി ഡിവൈഡ്സ് എക്സ് മൈനസ് വൈ നൗ വി ഹാവ് സം യൂസ്ഫുൾ ഡിവിസിബിലിറ്റി പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് theorem 2.3 let a and b be positive integers a and b be positive integers such that a divides b and b divides a then a equal to b so here a and b are positive integers and we are given that a divides b then and b divides a so we have to prove that a equal to b this is the first property uh, we have a divides b implies there exists q1 such that b equal to a q where q1 is positive integer because uh, we are given that a and b are positive integers so a and b are positive integers are like that then e q1 and there is positive integer are like okay so a divides b implies b equal to a q1 for some positive integer q1 similarly b divides a implies a equal to b q2 for some positive integer q2 so from this we get a equal to b q2 this is equal to a into Uh, the, we know b equal to a q1 so this is b a q1 into q2 therefore a q1 q2 equal to a so since uh, uh, that implies q1 q2 is equal to 1 that is here from we, we get a equal to a into q1 q2 so uh, cancelling a because a is non zero so we get a q1 q2 equal to 1 so and therefore q1 is equal to q2 equal to 1 because q1 and q2 are Uh, integers positive integers right so q1 is equal to q2 equal to 1 so therefore from this or this we get a equal to b another property is uh, we have the theorem let a b c alpha and beta be any integers a b c alpha and beta are any integers then we have three properties first one is transitivity property that is if a by b uh, a divides b and b divides c then a divides c a divides b b divides c then a divides c second one is if a divides b and a divides c then a divides alpha b plus beta c this alpha b plus beta c is called the linear combination of b and c third one is if a divides b then a divides b c okay so uh, i will prove the first two and uh, i will leave this third one to you so first one this is transitivity property a divides b b divides c implies a divides c so a divides b implies b can be written as a into q1 for some integer q1 okay here we are given that a b c and alpha and beta are integers any integers so uh, q1 may be an integer that is the rest is an integer q1 such that b equal to a q1 and the second condition is b divides c so b divides c implies there exists q2 and integer q2 such that c equal to b q2 now from these two we get c equal to b q2 which is and we can replace this b by a q1 that is a q1 into q2 that is a into q1 q2 q1 is an integer and q2 is an integer so q1 q2 is a, again an integer so uh, we can write uh, the, the resistance an integer q equal to q1 q2 to such that c equal to a q okay so that means a divides c so a divides b and b divides c implies a divides c that is the transitivity property now next one is second one if a divides b and a divides c then a divides alpha b plus beta c this means that if a divides b and a divides c then a divides any linear combination of b and c any linear combination of b and c so to prove this Uh, a divides b implies uh, we can write b equal to a q1 for some integer q1 and a divides c implies there exists q2 integer q2 such that c equal to a q2 now we have to show that uh, a divides alpha b plus beta c that means we have to show that alpha b plus beta c can be written as some a into some q we have to prove this okay so alpha b plus beta c is equal to alpha into b can be replaced by this and c can be replaced by this so alpha into 
aq1 plus beta into aq2 which is equal to taking a outside a into alpha q1 plus beta q2 that is alpha b plus beta c is equal to a into alpha q1 plus beta q2 where alpha q1 plus beta q2 is an integer or we can write this is nothing but uh, alpha b plus beta c is equal to a into q where q is equal to alpha q1 plus beta q2 this is an integer okay because alpha is an integer q1 is an integer beta q2 are integers so uh, q is an integer so uh, we can write alpha b plus beta c is equal to a q so uh, a divides alpha b plus beta c okay now i am leaving the third one uh, to you you can try this okay now in the second one we have uh, this uh, a divides b and a divides c implies a divides alpha b plus beta c that means you know uh, uh, this is alpha b plus beta c is called the linear combination of uh, b and c alpha b plus beta c is called the linear combination of b and c so from the second uh, theorem we we have a divides b and a divides c a divides b and a divides c implies a divides alpha b plus beta c that means if a divides b and a divides c then a divides any linear combination of b and c a divides any linear combination of b and c in particular we have in particular we have uh, a divides b a divides c this proof is over actually this implies a divides uh, a plus b right sorry b plus c if you put uh, alpha equal to 1 and beta equal to 1 and also a divides b a divides c implies a divides b minus c you can write this also uh, taking alpha equal to 1 and beta equal to minus 1 now we have another theorem theorem 2.5 let a and b be any positive integers then the number of positive integers less than or equal to a and divisible by b is the floor form of a by b okay that is uh, we are given that a b are any positive integers then the number of positive integers less than or equal to a and divisible by b is this floor of a by b <coughs> so to prove this uh, suppose there are k positive integers less than or equal to a and divisible by b suppose there are k positive integers less than or equal to a and divisible by b then we need to show that uh, k equal to floor of a by b okay we have to show that the number of positive integers less than or equal to a and divisible by b is floor of a by b we suppose that there are k such positive integers so we have to show that k equal to floor of a by b now the positive multiples of b less than or equal to a are b, 2b, etc. kb because there are k such positive integers that is uh, there are k positive integers less than or equal to a and divisible by b. So the multiples of b which are positive and less than or equal to a are b, 2b, etc. kb and k plus 1 b is greater than a. So clearly we have k into b is less than or equal to a. Therefore we have k is less than or equal to a by b. k is less than or equal to a by b. Also we have k plus 1 into b is greater than a. Therefore k plus 1 is greater than a by b. Or a by b minus 1 is less than k. Okay. So from these two we get uh, a by b minus 1 is less than k. Which is less than or equal to a by b. Therefore uh, k is less than or equal to a by b that means we know uh, k is the uh, number of positive integers less than or equal to a and divisible by b so k equal to uh, floor of a by b <coughs> this k is the largest integer less than or equal to a by b therefore k equal to uh, floor of a by b for example the number of positive integers less than or equal to 2076 and divisible by 19 is uh, floor of uh, 2076 divided by 19 so uh, if we are dividing this by 19 we will get 109.26316 uh, the floor of this is nothing but 109 uh, that is the number of positive integers less than or equal to this number and divisible by 19 